try observing this program i say print hello type in your name remember in the previous case i said type a number enter a number and now i'm saying type in your name what exactly was the previous code i said n equals int input and so on that was because it was a number we told the computer that the number that is being input the whatever the user is trying to input it is actually an integer if you were to type in your name it will be a string okay so you should put str and then input and then go to the next line this may sound a little confusing i must warn you but don't worry as we keep using it more and more it will get very you will get very used to it okay and then i'll say print n so let's execute this and see what happens hello type in your name sudarshan and then you see the first one was what i typed second one was what it displayed because of the print statement here i can go ahead and say hello comma n if i execute this and i type sudarshan it says hello sudarshan you can of course continue and say how are you and it will indeed say hello sudarshan how are you look at this sudarshan hello sudarshan how are you? wonderful so you are slowly getting a hang of what is programming and how we can so what what is what is unique about this program what is unique about this program is that whatever you enter it says hello to that string that is being entered right i am trying to make it really interactive although this may sound really dumb what is so special about a program saying hello sudarshan how are you but then you, you can think of the complexities that one can add to this okay i'll just try to include just one complexity to this i'll say type in your name and take a st string then say which place are you in and uh delete this which means i'm supposed to enter the place here it will again be the same p equals str input please note why did i say p i say p here because because you have n here which stands for your name if you put n here assume you put n here then the name that you typed in which gets stored in n will be lost because this is the bucket in which you stored your name and then your place also is being stored there you probably are wondering why can't it store both that's not how the computer reads it all right so without any further explanation let us see what exactly this does hello type in your name sudarshan which place are you in i am now in mysore it doesn't display anything simply because i haven't displayed anything here so look at what i would want this program to tell me it should say hello name and then how is the weather in p right i i make it one level more interactive here if you compare this with the previous code let me execute it it says hello type in your name i say sudarshan it says which place are you in i say my sir okay there seems to be a problem somewhere let's figure out what's the problem p is not defined you see i made a mistake here n should be p okay without declaring something if you simply use it this is a kind of error that you will encounter in fact we have not edited any of these errors that we get while we are coding that is because um the mistakes that we make you may also make right so we don't want to uh, appear very perfect so any mistake that happens here will be corrected here and the video will not be edited you will be seeing why the error came and you will be careful um, enough to reverse the error in case you encounter a similar error okay now let's go ahead redo this sudarshan is my name what place are you in my sir it says hello sudarshan how is the weather in my sir perfect very nice now if i were to rerun this program and instead of my name i type amitab as amitab bachan as an amitab bachan which place is amitab right now i'm hoping he is not uh, given the 
covid situation <laughs> he probably is at home so let me type what am i typing let me type mumbai hello amitab how is the weather in mumbai okay it's not grammatically correct how is the weather in p i should probably put a question mark after this right so hello type in your name um um i am the so let's say it's the prime minister of india which place are you in new delhi hello pm how is the weather in new delhi <laughs> right so you can make it even more complex here you can make it display the right way you see there's a small problem here there's a space in between new delhi and question mark okay you probably are wondering how to remove that space you can think of uh, uh, using something called format specifier which is coming next but i am just giving it as a puzzle try to look up online how this can be removed and then try to remove it okay most of these things are available on google you just type it and you will have a question on some forum which addresses exactly this question and you will get an answer as well that's with variables we will go ahead and study more variables right now you understood that n was a string p was a string okay i will go ahead and say what is your age what is your age you see this will be an integer let me say age equals integer input me execute this hello type in your name sudarshan how is the weather in which place are you in mysore hello sudarshan how is the weather in mysore by the way what is your age i'll say my age is 90 that's it it's not saying anything right okay so i'll say good to know you are age years old okay so you can guess what's going to happen now sudarshan which place are you in mysore mother mysore what is your age let me call myself a teenager and feel good about it i say <laughs> good to know you are 15 years old says the computer right point to note here you can use print statement and include variables there instead of telling you what exactly is variables explaining it in detail i simply used it in a program and made you feel comfortable about how variables are being used not only did i use the variable here i used the variable and assigned a value to it by using a i mean make using making use of the input statement whenever you say input it will ask for the input it will convert that to the type that you have specified int type and then assign that to the variable 